coming to you live from Pro Physique headquarters here in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, just wanted to do a little update video. Of, um, I ventured into into the small lab training program that I uh, that I talked about last week. Uh, I've done my first two days of the intro microcycle, and I gotta say, better than expected so far. Um, the weight has felt like nothing. Every set's basically felt like a warm up, um, which I guess that's the intended purpose. Um, the frequency is is what's unique. I'm I'm squatting uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. So um, and actually Wednesday is the the heaviest day. So uh, I've got some footage of some of my squats on there. Uh, mind you, I'm never going to be the prettiest squatter. You know, I've got all kinds of things moving in and out. But what I'm happy to report is that there is no issues right now with knees, hips, back, anything. So I'm. Um, Pretty excited about uh, just the idea of squatting pain-free, uh, injury-free, and um, and what I'll be capable of doing. I've also, since the squat workouts haven't been super intense, I've been um, training after them. On Monday, I did my uh, DUP bench program um, that was designed by Ben Esgro um, to keep my bench up, and today I did some um, some back and arms accessory work. So. Uh, overall, I'm using the small lot platform as a way to obviously grow my legs and get stronger um, in the uh, the squat, so that I can do a powerlifting meet in the future. Um, hopefully, um, early next year. You know, if this this 13 week uh, small lot program um, works the way you know a lot of people talk about it online, it's going to be very beneficial. Something that a, uh, a few people have brought up to my attention or have been asking me either via email or Facebook or YouTube messages is, um, is small love right for you? And I, I really can't answer that. Um, there are certain indicators for what you should be doing in the gym. And the most, the most important thing is that you're in the gym. I think a lot of people get caught up in exactly what they're doing. Am I doing the right program? Am I doing this? Am I doing sets to failure? Should I be doing drop sets? Should I be, you know, should I be overtraining? Am I overreaching? You know, do I need to deload? You can focus on the minutia of these little things and not see the big picture. The big picture needs to be, are you having fun in the gym? Are you enjoying it? Are you making progress? Uh, if you can answer yes to all of those, I can almost promise you that you're doing the right program because the difference between the, the most optimal program ever and a terrible program is going to be very minute and it's only really going to matter for the experienced lifter if you're not that experienced if you're new to the gym just get in there and move some shit just test yourself you know every week try to get better um, you know there's so much information available nowadays on form and technique and this and that I think you can get a little bit overwhelmed by it all uh, bottom line is find something that you enjoy and do it you should be excited to go to the gym every day I'm not saying you should be excited to go to the gym every day for your whole life, but you should be involved in a program that has um, has some goals or something that you're trying to attain that makes the gym uh, enjoyable. Because you cannot remove the psychology of the athlete from the gym. You know, you can't just put some numbers on paper, go in the gym, and do them, and always get the most out of it. You really need to be ensuring that you are um, doing something that that interests you and. Honestly, the the last you know the last two days and two nights, uh, I've been thinking about squatting all day. You know, I go to bed thinking about it. I wake up excited about going to the gym squatting. Um, you know, I'm excited to bench. Um, I'm excited to possibly do a powerlifting meet in the future. So it's been it's been really enjoyable to do something. So is small love right for you? I can't answer that. Um, if you're if you're a pretty good squatter. Uh, you know, I would say you've got to have some experience. Now, mind you, I squatted for a couple of years straight. You know, I went through 12 weeks of um, of Shiko. You know, I've done several squat programs. I've trained with some pretty good power lifters. Um, so I have some background in squatting. I'm not a complete noob to the squat. Um, I had some injuries that I had to overcome that were causing me to compensate, which were actually causing other little, you know, injuries and setbacks. So, um... I went to the doctors, I got MRIs, I got an MRI arthrogram where they stick a damn needle in your leg, uh, inject it with dye, and then do an MRI. Um, I, had nothing, I had nothing wrong with me, so, you know, I was probably holding myself back a little bit because I kept felting these nagging things, and then finally taking time off allowed those to heal. So, 
Um, for a month, I trained legs three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, and built back up my stamina, my strength. And now I'm in a place where I feel like um, I can really benefit from, from a squat program. Um, I thought about doing some DUP squatting, but honestly, I don't think I'm ready for that because uh, with the DUP auto regulation that I've been doing, you kind of go up, you go up to your squat max every day, your conservative max, which um, it's just something, not something I'm ready for. The uh, the Smola program is basically high intensity, high frequency once you get to the base mesocycle, um, and that's I'm looking for that structure because I'm going to be very conservative with my numbers. Uh, I'm not going to impress you with any squat that I do, probably ever in my life. I'm not a, I'm not a good squatter, you know, I think with some consistency and some, you know, years of uh, putting away at it, I can be a decent squatter. Um, you know, my ideal squat at this stage of my life, you know, if I could ever get a 500 pound squat, that would be super exciting. You know, if I could do, if I could do sets of like 4 or 5 with 405, that would be ideal. And I think I have the potential, um, you know, based on my other lifts. So, you know, those are those are some outside goals for me. But honestly, right now, my goal is just to get back to where I was. Um, and my last powerlifting meet, I hit a 400-pound squat, and I'd like to get there and obviously go past that. Um, I think my deadlift and my bench are, will be higher than they were at the last meet. So, you know, anytime you can increase all three lifts at a powerlifting meet from your last meet, you know, that's very successful uh, in my opinion. So. The excitement's back in the gym, um, and for those of you wondering what's right for you, uh, if you want to email me, paul at prophysique.com, I'll send you the, the small of um, information that I use, um, what to base it off of, it's even got an Excel spreadsheet, so you plug in your maxes, it gives you the dates for your lifts, um, and I can kind of work out what I'm going to be doing around that. Um, I'm going to kind of play it by ear as I go. So if I have a particularly tough squat day and I don't feel like benching that day, I'm not going to force it. Um, the uh, the base mezzo is uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So you know I'll I'll have those days off in between to train. I'm also not going to force myself to do sets quickly. Uh, my warm ups are going to be as necessary. I'm going to keep keep up with the um, the stretching and the mobility work that I've been doing um, during this injury time recovering. So. Finding the exact right program for you, it's what gets you excited, man. It's what gets you out of bed and makes you want to train that day. And, um, you know, I, I've gone through some patches in my training where I wasn't excited, and I still go to the gym because if I don't go to the gym, I, you know, I just don't feel like myself. So even when my training is not, you know, completely exciting and uh, the greatest thing ever, I still get in the gym and do my shit. So, um you know, making progress in this sport takes consistency. You can't train your ass off for two, three weeks, six weeks, and then take a month off, or, you know, train hard for six months and then take a month or two off. You've got to consistently be in the gym day in, day out, hitting your numbers and uh, making progress and just continuing. And um, So the Smola program is basically just a platform for me to be excited about that, that experience going through that. You know, it's something that a lot of my friends and... Um, and uh, and things have done, and so it's it's been always something that I've wanted to venture into. You know, I'll probably be complaining in a few weeks here, but uh, I'll put some some of my squats at the end of this video, so you guys can check that out. Um, I'm always open for advice. Doesn't mean I'll take it. Um, I'm a low bar squatter, working really hard on keeping my knees out, keeping my chest up. Um, but as you'll see, my uh, my structure just makes my squat pretty fucking awkward. Anyway, guys, um, Lane also announced today uh, to the public that the Australian tour is going to happen. So all you Aussies, uh, check out the uh, the VIP camp for Australia that's going to be happening in March. Um, uh, I will be attending the uh, the Sydney Melbourne camps, and then Lane's going to do a couple others, including Perth with Ryan Doris, just him and Ryan Doris. Um, I have to be back by April, so. I'm still going to probably go over a little before lane. I've got some friends in, in Melbourne, so I'll be over there. But uh, that's going to be an awesome experience because, A, I love Australia. B, I love bodybuilding. I love powerlifting. I love learning. Um, and I just like being around like-minded people. You know, I met some of the Aussies that came over for Lane's camp. 
and uh, Evan and Joey and uh, those guys were awesome and it was just great to be around them and enthusiasm so it's, it's a common bond between um, you know people from another culture and uh, it seems like the Australian culture has really embraced um, drug free bodybuilding and powerlifting and just the sport in general so it's going to be really exciting to get over there share some information um, and just continue to grow as a, uh, a person, a lifter and uh, keep doing what we're doing you know I'm going to be representing Outwork Apparel over there, I'm going to be representing Core Nutritionals over there uh, I'm going to represent my own brand, Pro Physique. Um, and not to mention, this weekend, if you're in the Tampa area, or even if you're, you're just in the Florida area and you want to drive to Tampa, uh, Lane and Isabel are hosting the OCB West Coast Classic. Um, it's going to be a great show. It's uh, OCB is uh, probably the, the best amateur natural bodybuilding organization. Um, that's the, the amateur organization of the IFPA. So, um, some great promoters, and there's some great shows. So, uh, you know, obviously everything that Lane does, he does to the best of his ability. He goes all out, so you can bet uh, it's going to be a great time for the competitors. It's going to be a great time for anyone who comes to attend the show. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, Core Nutritionals booth, um, spreading the word about Core Nutritionals and uh, all the great products that they have. And uh, they're a sponsor of the show, as well as Pro Physique is a sponsor of the show. So, um, if you come and we haven't met, please come up and say hi to me. Uh, I don't always have a smile on my face, uh, but it's not because I'm not nice, that's just my face, I'm, I'm weird like that, so, uh, but I love meeting new people, anybody interested in the sport, anybody that just wants to talk, just grab my attention, flag me down, uh, even if it looks like I'm busy, I'll make time, and um, other than that, just, uh, it's, it's Tuesday, so you guys have an awesome week training, if you have any questions or comments, let me know, um, I'm going to keep doing these videos as the, uh, the program progresses, uh, I've also decided, I shaved, before I went and squatted the first day so I'm not gonna shave until I complete small off so that'll be a 13 week beard I think it should be pretty good we'll see um, uh, I had fun growing a beard last year it's been a while so it gave me a reason uh, I figure it's pretty anabolic you know my buddy, uh, my buddy Eric Kenry uh, can attest to that you know he's got a pretty anabolic beard so uh, I've seen him lift pretty heavy with that thing and I think um, I think I might have some good results with it so anyway guys I really appreciate it um, any questions, comments, if you want to reach me, paul at prophysique.com, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Bye.